many people ask me for a great guitar exercise for beginners. They want to know an exercise that will help them to grow as fast as possible. And there are many of them. But at first, I usually suggest this one special exercise that every beginner should know and practice. We are going to play one of the most frequently used right hand patterns in a very unusual way. Each of your four fingers stays on its own string, so the thumb is on the sixth string, the first finger on the third string, the middle finger on the second string, and the ring finger on the first string. And the pattern goes this way. The thumb, first finger, the middle finger, ring finger, and then we go backwards, middle finger, first finger, and the thumb again. Okay, let me show you the exercise now. You can grab your guitar and practice with me. Lay all your fingers on the strings like this. And what we are going to do now is to play the pattern while all the fingers stay on the strings. So you play with one finger and after you plug the string, you immediately turn back on the string. The rest of the fingers stays on the strings. Then you play with the next finger. You play and land back. The next finger. Play and land. Play and land. So practice with me now. Only one finger plays and the rest of the hand is completely relaxed. And this is the point of this exercise. So focus on keeping your hand very calm. You see it doesn't move, it, it is completely relaxed and try to feel every individual movement coming from the stable hand. This is a perfect exercise for beginners and not only for beginners, also for advanced guitar players who just have more tension in the hand or who just lost the balance in the hand. Focus on relaxing all the tension in your hand. It must be really free. Your goal is to feel that your hand is calm and every movement is simple and easy. Why are we doing this strange thing with all the fingers on the strings? There are many reasons for that. Point one, when all your fingers are on the strings, your hand is calm and it does not move. This is very important because most beginners, and not only them, they tend to move their hand when they start playing the right hand patterns. And this is wrong because for control and speed, your hand must be calm. You need a very special balance in the hand and you create it through this exercise, just playing the patterns from the strings. Point two, very important. You learn how to play with one finger and relax with the rest of the hand. You see, most beginners, when they try to hit the string from above, they focus only on one finger and they ignore the rest of the hand and there is usually a lot of tension. However, Planting all your fingers on the strings creates reference. And you feel if your fingers stay calmly on the strings. In fact, they should completely relax when they're not playing. Because you improve the balance and control in your hand, you build the foundation for speed later on. So once you feel comfortable with the basic exercise, let's start adding some extra things. Like, for example, moving the thumb across the bass strings upwards and downwards. Okay, let me explain. With each pattern, you will move the bass from the sixth string to the fourth, and then again back to the sixth. So, we start on the sixth string, you play the bass and land on the fifth string. Then you play the pattern as usual. 
Now you play the fifth string and land on the fourth. Play the pattern. Now you play the fourth. So you move back on the fifth. Now you play the fifth and move back to the sixth. So with every pattern, you change the bass. Let me show you again. As you hear, the bass sounds are long now because you are always landing on another string. One very simple option that opens up a universe of new possibilities and variations is adding some harmonies to the exercise. So let me show you a very simple one. So let's take, for example, E major chord. The first finger is on the first fret, G string. The ring finger on the D string, second fret. The middle finger, second fret, A string. And now we play the pattern, as usual, with a moving bass. Focusing on the balance in the right hand. Relaxing each finger and the rest of the hand. And now you move the whole shape one fret higher and you play the whole pattern again. When you're practicing, never forget why you are doing that. So always focus on the right thing. Always relieving the tension in the hand, in this case. Again, one fret higher. Always make sure that your hand is calm. Never forget it. Always remind yourself, because sometimes you're practicing and you start to think about other things and that's when you start practicing the mistakes and that's the time or moment when the tension builds up in your hand. And then again higher. This for example can be your practicing goal for the next week, your routine. You can play the whole pattern to the fifth position, for example, and back, while focusing on relaxation and the right balance in the hand. Another suggestion would be adding rhythms to the pattern, or accents to balance the tone control in your hand, or you can create your own patterns and play a different pattern every single day. Well, that's it for now. I hope this video helped you to come up with some ideas on how to enrich your practicing. Let me know in the comments below what you struggle with, what is your practicing routine or what would you like to learn and I wish you a very productive practicing session. See you soon.